So this is part three. I'm in the elevator. I'm actually right on time, you know, three minutes after 3 a.m. Um, we have a shuttle that picks us up at 3.35, so I just leave in enough time to make the shuttle. Uh, but before I left, I make sure I had all my required items that we are required to carry with us, um, like our iPad, um, double check you have your ID on. Um, we have this, um, you know, pullouts that we have to have. So you just make sure you just have all, all your items. Everything's turned off. I threw out the trash and now I'm outside. And it's a brisk 21 degrees this morning. Oops. In New York City. I am constantly wasting my coffee on my arm as I walk. Which is not a good thing. So, anyway, I try to be early so I don't have to be rushing. And just in case I forget something, I have that time to um, grab the things that I need. And let's just say I want to get something to eat in the morning. Nine times out of ten, I don't because you can eat on the airplane. So, I really don't bring food. But you don't want to get in the habit of eating the food on the airplane because you know just to be honest is has preservatives in it has certain items in there that keeps it fresh for a limited time and um just don't want to get in the habit of doing that you want to get in the habit of bringing your own food i made some rice last night and some spinach and sweet potato so that's what i'm having today for lunch on the plane along with the salad and some sesame seed dressing i have a banana and if I want something else to eat on the plane, then maybe I'll eat it because they normally have sliced fruit. Um, so I'll probably eat that on the plane this morning. And uh, yeah, it's early as crap. It's cold as crap here in New York. And I'm on my way to the workplace. And this is flight attendant life. Like, yeah, it's, it has its benefits has its glitz and glamour but for the most part the realness of it all is you're up early you're off late you're running for a plane you're running to a train <laughs> um some of most of us commute we don't live in base i just so happened this year to live in base but for the last 13 years i lived in puerto rico so um, it was an adjustment, but it was also great because I did not have to fly to work to start my job. Because wherever you're based, you have to live, you have to have a place to live to accommodate um, your base. Because all your trips, I'm JFK based, so all my trips are going to start out of JFK. So I'm required to have a place to stay. And over the last couple of years, I was fortunate enough to have a best friend that lived in New York. So I would crash with her and go to work. And we had our, um, we helped each other out. You know, I made her my significant other for a while because it, it just, it's one of those things where we travel together all the time. So who wouldn't want their best friend to go everywhere with them? So. At any rate, I and Now I am about to start driving, so I'm going to have to say goodbye. It is about 3.10. I'm still on time. Um, I have to be there at 4.40. So even if I get there a little bit after 3.35, the shuttle, there's an air train that I can take to the airport. So um, sometimes I just sit in my car and wait till 4.05 shuttle, and I'm still early. So this is Plain Sense. This was part three. And I hope you enjoyed so far, but this is what it really is about, and this is what it, life really is. Um, it's a lot of perks. I'm not going to sit here and say there aren't. There are a lot of perks. But um, the overall thing is that you're you're moving, you're going. you got to get there, and you got to be on time. So 
Um, I'll get back on here shortly when I make it to the airport to show you, like, that process from the airport to the shuttle. And this is Plain Sense. Uh, my name's Jamia, and I'll talk to you all soon.